In this video, we show that the initial object in the category of monad lifts classifies the eilenberg mohr categories. We will denote the terminal category by an asterisk. Recall that the terminal category has only one object and one morphism, which necessarily is the identity morphism. Then the identity monad for the terminal category, which we denote by a bold-faced one, is the initial object in the category of monad lifts, since the terminal category is the terminal object in the metacategory of categories, and noting that the eilenberg mohr category for one is still just the terminal category with the forgetful functor being the identity functor. We have been using the forgetful two functor as defined by projecting to the second component for the objects and morphisms and natural transformations of monad lifts. And in this section, we look at also the first projection, which we denote by alg for algebra, which also is a two functor from monad lifts to the one opposite metacategory of categories. Then the forgetful one functors for the eilenberg mohr categories can be seen as a two natural transformation from alg to the forgetful functor as demonstrated by the following diagram. Moreover, the algebra two functor is two representable with the category of algebras on TE isomorphic as categories to the HOM category in monad lifts of functors from TE to the initial object and is natural in component TE. For the proof, we first show that the following category is isomorphic to the eilenberg mohr category for the monad T. By definition of one morphisms of monad lifts, an object in this category consists of a functor from the terminal category to E, which is equivalent to giving an E object X, along with the natural transformation TX to X, which is equivalent to giving a E morphism from TX to X, such that 1 theta eta T X is equal to X eta boldfaced 1, but the unit for the monad 1 is the identity natural transformation, so on the right we have this equivalent to the morphism of the identity on x. And on the left, this is equivalent to the morphism theta, eta, t on component x. Thus we see that one is equivalent to theta preserving the unit. And two, theta mu t x is equal to x mu boldfaced one, theta identity on the terminal category, t theta. But the multiplication on the monad of the terminal category is just the identity natural transformation. So we see this is equivalent to the morphism theta mu t x on the left and theta t theta on the right, which shows that theta preserves multiplication as well. Therefore, we have that objects in this HOM category are equivalent to objects in the eilenberg mohr category for the monad t. The morphisms in the HOM category are transformations f from the object theta x to theta prime x prime, and by definition satisfy the equation theta prime tf is equal to f on the identity of the terminal category theta, which is equal to f theta. And this shows that as morphisms, they are t equivariant. Therefore, morphisms in this HOM category are equivalent to the morphisms in the eilenberg mohr category for the monad t. And thus, algebra te is isomorphic as categories to the HOM category of monad lifts from TE to the initial object. Next, to show naturality, let lambda P, which is equivalent to P tilde P, be a monad lift one morphism. Recall P tilde takes an object X theta in the eilenberg mohr category for S to PX with action P theta lambda X, and a morphism F to PF. And the precomposition functor, by definition, takes an object theta X to P theta lambda X px, and a morphism f to pf. Therefore, we see that this isomorphism is one natural. For two naturality, it is easy to see that the precomposition of the monad lift transformation alpha has components equivalent to alpha x, which is t equivariant. Thus, we see that the isomorphisms are natural with respect to two morphisms. Therefore, the two functor algebra is isomorphic to the two representable presheaf on the initial object, which completes the proof.